Hey folks, Michael McGee here. I am with the, the berry plant that has become famous on this channel. I wouldn't have thought it would have, but it did. So, pokeberries. I have made, in two consecutive years, videos about how the pokeberry is good for arthritis. In today's video, I'm not gonna do that. All I'm going to do is read for you the comments that you have made. This is a testimonial video. This is not Micah McGee telling what somebody told him. This is gonna be straight from horses' mouths that have eaten the pokeberries. Now, just in case you think pokeberries are poisonous, they have toxicity, but you can eat them and they won't kill you. And I eat them a lot, just like this. And I like to spit the seeds out the seeds are the part that have the toxins. The berry juice is the part that gets in your, evidently it gets in your rheumatoid arthritis and frees you up, makes you feel better according to what I'm fixing to read to you. And there's 1,100 comments on my video. So I'm not gonna waste a lot of your time jabbering. Right away, I pinned this to the head of the comments because I thought it was important for a safety aspect a uh, feller or lady by the name of biblical apology said no 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 take a berry a day and work your way up to eight because in my video i say take eight berries for three days you don't have to take it again until the pain returns that was what was told to me so this feller is saying no take three berries three times a week but build up to that please so if you're scared and I got a comment today from somebody on this same video. This video is still rolling. I've been out for a year saying, well, I'm getting so much conflicting information about uh, whatever that I just, I'm kind of afraid. I replied, if you're going to listen to every voice out there about any subject, you're gonna be afraid. Let's hear some testimonials real quick. My grandpa used them for arthritis. This is Michael saying, I saw him eat handfuls at a time and it never hurt him. They work for sure. Pam, I'm pushing 80 years old. I've been eating poke salad leaves and stalks since I was a child. My grandmother used the berries to make jam and treat arthritis. She was half Cherokee Indian and her mother was a medicine woman and taught her many things about the natural medicines and edible plants. Let's move along. W. Paul. My grandfather squeezed the juice from the berries and sipped it for arthritis in the late 1800s through the 1940s. Only two weeks ago, I got this comment from Tom Bailey saying, first time seeing your channel. Just this morning, I had 10 to 12 berries right off the plant. Yes, absolutely it helps with arthritis. I've been eating the berries for 50 plus years and only once that I have noticeable stomach upset and that was because I ate two or three full clusters. I eat eight to 12 berries every day. They are edible each year. Two absolutely wonderful relief from joint pain. Randy Green, I've had arthritis in my neck and lower back for around 10 years now that has gotten slowly worse. This year, I started taking an over-the-counter NSAID, which I'm not a fan of. Even my doctor says I can't take NSAID for long periods of time because it start, causes stomach bleeding. Oh, joy. Knowing that God put many plants down here for medicinal purposes, I thought I'd dig a little deeper. That's when I came across the other video you mentioned that you made. I decided to give pokeberry a try. I ate eight of them, carefully not to chew the seeds, three days ago, and the first time this year I didn't take NSAID before bread. There wasn't any flip-flopping that night due to pain. Today is my third day eating eight berries and I've got more mobility in my neck than I've had in 10 years. In fact, shooting electrical pain sensation I was getting down my left arm is gone. The sound of Rice Krispies when I rolled my head is gone. There is still some pain in my lower back, but it's nowhere near as bad. Will it get completely better? How long will this relief last? Only time will tell but I've clipped every tag available in our yard and will store them in my freezer just in case. Who would have thought this berry that we played with as a kid, driving our mother crazy, would be a medical use? That's pretty amazing. I got comment after comment after comment like this. <clears throat> Carolina Libertarian Alliance says, my grandfather kept a jug of pokeberry wine beside his bed and sipped on it for his arthritis. He would take an extra sip before preaching a sermon at church 
Made for an interesting message. <laughs> Tricky Vicky says, I was taught the exact same thing about poke berries as medicine, except we were told 10 berries. That's interesting. Obviously, it's not a drug that comes from the pharmaceutical companies. It's not so dangerous for you that you, if you overdose, it's not going to kill you. Like if you take way too many pills, like heart pills or something. This here is not near as dangerous as pharmaceutical company pills. And yet this is the thing that people go crazy about when you take them. They go cuckoo saying how dangerous it is. Don't make no sense. I can't pronounce this uh, name of this person, but my wife has arthritis and a lady told, and a lady told my about pokeberries and she eats every week since and she doesn't have any more pain. She used to be fine and in five minutes later, crying with pain. She can't even move her arm. Now she is great. It's work for my wife, 100%. We keep it frozen, thanks. Greenfield Ridge Farms. My dad used a pokeberry tincture for arthritis. Took one fourth teaspoon a day. Great video. Cannot convince some folks. And that's true. Some folks would rather, almost rather live in pain as to, as to try something natural. Tracy Aaron says, I have rheumatoid arthritis in my neck and hands. After seeing your video, I saw some in my yard a few days earlier and went and picked them and placed them in my freezer. I have taken four a day to start to see how my body reacts to them. So far, no issues at all. If, I, if anything, it's helping. Thanks for your video and your channel. Shelly Murphy says, it does work in my opinion. Been taking them for years. As far as I know, it hasn't killed me, but the instruction I have is to start with one a day and work up to three. This is from an old Cherokee. I, I pick and freeze them in the winter to keep my supply until next spring. Just keep in mind at some level, everything can be toxic. That's a good point. Everything is toxic at some level. People can be poisoned with water. It's true. Okay, the name of this channel was According to Scripture. I put it to the test. My knees were killing me, so I eat eight berries per day for three days. My knees eased up for about two weeks. I plan to repeat the process and start taking a berry a day. Hopefully that will help long term. So there you see some good old results. Jeff Tucker says, yes, I know a few people who take them for arthritis and they are off of all their prescription drugs for arthritis now. That's a very good testimony. Duke University researchers found that the dye from the berries doubles the efficiency in the fibers used in solar cells to absorb energy. That's interesting. Rose Smith says, we used to pick them and eat them when I was a little, and we also used them for eyeshadow and lipstick when we were little, never got sick from them. <laughs> Here's an interesting comment from Elise Albanesius. Did five berries a day for three days. Feel fantastic. I ate two berries with seeds and the other three without seeds. Thanks for all the info. Tennessee lock picking one year ago commented, it works for me and my dad both. And we take them because of you. Great video. You're welcome. This person says, I have some in my freezer. I chew 10 for pain. I'm still alive and it works. The berries also have major nutrients. Julie Tate says, I take two per day when I am hurting and it works wonders. Cerebral ailment says, this video made my joint feel way stronger than I thought it would, LOL. <laughs> Godzilla says, found this video by accident, subscribed on purpose. The information delivery cracks me up, but more importantly, I learned a lot. Thanks for the education. <laughs> hey, I'm Southern, I can't help it. Tam B, one year ago, said, I take 10 berries at a time for arthritis and back pain. I also made poke root tincture that I can take in winter instead of freezing the berries. That's interesting. I'm not just endorsing stuff like this this take this from these people this is not necessarily from me but i have heard a lot of people say that poke poke root tincture works good for poison ivy maybe a topical application i know the poke root itself is very poisonous so you got to be very careful with that but if you take a tincture maybe a drop or something like that you have to be your own judge on that charles gann says i met a backwoods couple in the ozarks in her 80s she made pokeberry pie First and only people that I've met. They were 80, but look 60. Wish I got her recipe. <laughs> uh, we might just have to make a recipe. 
Eric Hale, my friend in Indiana says, I just sat in a chair for an hour and a half today to get infusions for my arthritis. Those infusions have pretty bad stuff in them like chemo. I really need to try this, see if it helps. I never did it last year. Thanks for sharing. Well, Eric, did you do it this year? <laughs> Frederick Hurd says you can't have arthritis if you're dead. Bless his heart. Will Scolton says, thank you very much. I have arthritis in both of my knees. I can only straighten them out about 90% of the way. Can't bend them very far either. Sometime they were very sore. The doctor told me I can have them replaced or just take a leave. I found healing sooth online. Then for my toenail, <laughs> no, I don't think I'm gonna go there. Monday I took eight pokeberries. That helped a lot too. I would say it works good. I'm gonna keep using it. Someone else online said take one berry a day. They said you won't crack the seed with your teeth. Thanks again. Roy Williams says, how do we know that you don't have a twin or set of twins? So the last twin was killed by eating the berries in the last video, but you're the other twin taking over. They ain't two of me. <laughs> oh, you can ask Long Bow Banjo, they ain't two of me on this earth. I have Texan Foxglove, but I never see how anybody died from it, but I often hear stories about one woman who died from it, but nobody talks about the 850,000 people that died from medical care every year. I heard this week that the third leading cause of death in the United States is... All right, listen to this. Thank you for asking that, because this is the 10,000-pound gorilla in the room that nobody's talking about. The third leading cause of death is published in the journal of the American Medical Association is MD directed treatments. This means you go to a medical doctor, an MD, he gives you a treatment and you die from it. That's and that's okay. Answer. They aren't going to be causing a huge fuss about that. Nobody goes to jail. Third leading cause. If this plant right here was the third leading cause of death in America, they would be giving Roundup poison away to people to get rid of them. So I'm telling you, folks. <laughs> This stuff is real. This stuff is absolutely not the epitome of the death wish, like what so many people want to want to say and cry and whine around and be so scared of. I can take this literally and eat it right in front of you, and I'm and it doesn't hurt me. And no, I don't have a twin brother that died from it. The comments that I read to you right there is just a fraction of the comments I got from people that found true relief from pain. I was in the buffet line at KFC and a lady there, an elderly lady beside me was dipping food and as we went through the line, she was saying what how terrible her arthritis pain was. And this was a year or two before I did started a YouTube channel. And I told her about the berries and she said, she said, if this gets rid of my pain, I will give you my house. And I said, ma'am, I do not want your house, but I do want you to be pain free. Try the pokeberries. I've never seen her since. I hope she did try the pokeberries because I, I feel very confident that it would give her relief. She, a lot of people can't get relief from medicine. There's too many complications with it. So if you're having stomach bleeding because you're trying to get rid of your pain in your knuckles, there's something wrong with that story. This here will not do that to you. So does this put money in the hands of Big Pharma? No. Is this gonna put money in my hands if you use it? No, this is strictly for you. Part of McGee Homestead Adventure is to make you more reliant, not only from grocery stores, feed stores, but also from the doctor. That's a good thing. So as time goes on, if you realize third of people that are dying <laughs> is because of malpractice it might be a lot safer to be your own doctor so that's what i'm going to leave you with here hope you have a great day hope you get out there if you have joint pain don't be afraid of the berry i hope you have a great day we'll see you on the next video